eKIP Connect is ABB's next-generation commissioning and programming software, designed to help users fully unlock the potential of low-voltage devices. This innovative software facilitates the management of key system functionalities, including power supply management, collection and analysis of electrical values, testing of protection systems, maintenance, and diagnostic functions. The benefits for customers are substantial across various applications and business use cases. In a typical application scenario, configuring one or more devices located in the system switchboard with eKIP Connect is very straightforward. It is an intuitive software that streamlines commissioning and operations, allowing quick and simple processes. This facilitates uninterrupted workflows, enhancing productivity. In different situations and complex use cases, eKIP Connect operates on devices both locally and remotely, ensuring reliability and safety in all conditions. For complex configuration projects, eKIP Connect ensures connectivity between multiple devices through customizable logic options. It allows the user to design projects according to specific needs, using various views. eKIP Connect is engineered to exchange data with one or more protection devices, including circuit breakers, fuse gears, automatic transfer switches, and many more. eKIP Connect assists the commissioning process of the system with easy and intuitive navigation. It allows rapid access to diagnostics, immediate setting and testing of releases, complex plant configurations and continuous monitoring on connected devices. Take advantage of the protection menu for a straightforward setting of the device releases. Click on the USB Type-C scanning button to visualize the connected device. Navigate to the Protections tab to activate the protections through a dedicated user interface and use the sliders to do some fine-tuning. To observe and modify all the available protections, go into the Classic view under the Protections Parameters section. Use the custom logic tool to create your own logics with the purpose of saving time on complex programming and removing the need for external controllers. Create PLC-like logics by dragging inputs, operators and outputs to the canvas. You can also set properties to operators, like for example on the delay. After the design phase is finished, you can check the integrity of the logic, alongside the bill of materials, where all the components necessary for the project are inserted. The interface protection system allows faults to be managed in installation, which can function thanks to energy produced by renewable and local energy sources. After scanning an eKIP Up Plus device, navigate to the IPS tile under the Tools section. Then choose the desired use case, like for example the eKIP Up Plus's generator relay. In this view, you can perform various settings on the plant, necessary protections, the contacts configuration or even some tests on the connected device. The diagram view can also be used for simplified graphic experience. The interface protection system settings can then be transferred to the device, passing through a series of warnings, preventing you from applying wrong configurations on the plant. Configure with ease all the necessary accessories that can be attached to your ABB device, like the eKIP Signaling Arc Flash Module. First, connect the module to the Emacs 3 trip unit alongside all its sensors. Then, enter the Modules section, Signaling tab, and find the Arc Flash Module and related sensors that are automatically detected. You can enable all the channels needed for the module to function correctly and choose the installed sensors. Lastly, enable the protection of the arc flash module and related channels. The system update is a straightforward, safe and reliable way to update the firmware on the Emacs 3 and all its modules. Enter the firmware update tool and then click on the system update tab. Inside this view, you can find the Emacs 3 mainboard, its HMI, and all the connected modules, alongside the respective firmware versions currently installed and the latest available by ABB. Choose what module you want to update and click on Next. In the current view, you are presented with a detailed outline of all the necessary steps to complete the update. In this case, the system update starts with the Emacs 3 mainboard and its HMI, and then the eKIP Supply EVO Modbus TCP module. Use the Marketplace to manage in one place all the software packages for your devices. Inside the Marketplace section, you can find all the available software packages for the connected device, which in this case is an Emacs 3. As an example, let's buy the Test Area Pro package. 
After clicking on Buy, you will be redirected to the Advanced Simulation Area page on the ABB Marketplace. Once the package is bought, you will be given a redeem code which is used to register the package under your account. Insert the code and click on Transfer to complete the registration. Navigate under My Orders section to activate your software package on the connected device. Lastly, on the My Device section, you can find all the active packages. The monitoring page contains measures, warnings, events and trips, all the real-time data related to the connected device. After connecting via T&P to the X-T4 device and opening the monitoring section, you are introduced to the measures page, where all the currents, voltages, frequencies, power factors and energies are visible. These are real-time data related to the connected device. You can navigate to the warnings page to observe the current trips, alarms, warnings, and the most frequent trip events which can be filtered by time. You can also see all the events including not only the ones related with warnings and alarms, but also the configuration. The last page is dedicated to the trips and their respective type, the time of occurrence, all the various currents, the contact where of the device, and some notes from the trip event. The Data Logger and Data Viewer functions allow the recording and visualization of data associated with trigger events. After connecting via TNP to a TMAX XT7 device, enter the Tools section and access the Data Logger tool. In this view, both channels supported by the connected device are shown. Inside the General Options, you can enable the Data Logger, choose the number of registers in sample, the sampling frequency, stop delay, the memory type, and the trigger. When the configuration is set, click on Start Data Logger, and the device then starts recording the analog and digital measurements. When a trigger is verified, the data logger stops. You can also stop it manually by clicking on the dedicated button. All the data recorded by the device can be downloaded after clicking the download button and choosing the desired time window. After the download is successfully finished, eKIP Connect asks if you want to visualize the recordings in the Data Viewer tool, which is then automatically opened. You are instantly presented with all the data recorded by the data logger, such as the values for all the currents and voltages in time and frequency domains. The signals present in the view can be magnified to allow for a simple and precise reading. The test area function allows the observation of the device's behavior in conditions that are difficult to reproduce in reality. After connecting via TNP to a TMAX XT7 device, enter the Tools section, access the Test Area tool, and click on the Test Execution tile. There are three different sections present in the view. The Single Test, Test Sequence, and Trip Test. In the Single Test page, you can open an already generated test file, save the current one, or create more test sessions. In the Signals section you can modify the phaser diagram and phase shift and amplitude, alongside with the enabling or disabling of voltages and currents to use. The graph on the right shows changes in real time. In the Harmonics page, you can view and modify the harmonics in amplitude. A test sequence can be created by choosing to use the default one or a new one. When starting a trip test the system warns you to perform it only when the circuit breaker is closed, and encourages paying attention to the fact that the trip test will open the circuit breaker. The Reports function allows you to generate, print and download the settings and factory reports. After connecting via TNP to an Emacs 3 device, enter the Tools section and access the Reports tool. The settings report contains all the information stored in the device memory, and thus, also the values of all the parameters set and measurements recorded on the device connected. You can open existing reports or generate a new one if you need to analyze the configuration present in the device. The factory report is made by the factory after the manufacturing process of the device, and regards some specific tests. These reports are stored online and can be downloaded by clicking on the Download Report button. First, you should enter the serial number or the commercial product code of the device owned, and then click on the Next button to retrieve your report. Afterwards, you can download the PDF record of the file or visualize it in eKIP Connect.
it's always possible to leave a feedback or report an issue. These features can be found under the support button. To submit a feedback about the eKIP Connect 3 software, you can choose one of the five topics presented and write a message. If there is an issue with the software, you are welcome to report the problem encountered by clicking on the report issue section. Afterwards, you can set the report type, write the subject and the message. If needed, up to five PDF files or images can be attached. If the attached device report option is selected, eKIP Connect will generate a settings report from the connected device and send it via email to the operations team, alongside all the other data included in the issue form.